Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we're finally gonna do it. I know that I used a shaker mold forever ago. Well, it probably wasn't forever ago, but I used like this Polaroid shaker mold and so many of you were like, you should have made it into a shaker. Um, when I bought it, I didn't realize it was a shaker. So anyway, today we're finally gonna make a shaker, a resin shaker with glitter. And this one's gonna be so freaking special because it's a Luna Moth. Like, oh, I found this mold when I saw it on Instagram. I was like, that's the one. That's the actual one because look at this. Look at it. It's so freaking cute. It's a Luna Moth. And you have like little stars and moons to like put in the shaker. Stop. Cute. So the artist that I bought this super cute mold from is Dragon Soul Resin. And I found them on Instagram. I think that's what they're shop name is as well let me go see yep so it's dragon soul resin on etsy as well and oh my god when i saw this they have a video on their instagram of them like putting it together so cute so freaking cute so that's i i bought it because it's adorable uh so we're gonna be making a shaker today this is the mold that we're gonna be using i have a couple different uv lights i'll link everything down in the description so i am going to be using casting resin for this i'm going to be using the counterculture diy casting resin we're going to color it a few different colors i have something in mind i want this to glow in the dark because 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 Luna moths only fly at night, right? Okay, so confirmed. <laughs> Confirm um, Luna moths fly at night to mate, apparently. But I thought it would be cool to make this glow in the dark because they're they're active at night. I have a few different pigments that I'm going to be using, but I'm going to show you everything once we get into it. So we're going to jump into making the shaker mold, and then I will come back to you, and we're going to put it together, pop it out, glitter. It's going to be amazing. So we are going to get started on making this shaker. So I have these little tiny silicone cups and I'm pouring equal parts of resin. By the way, little side note, if you hear purring or anything, it's because my cat is literally purring right next to me. And it's not like I'm going to ask her to not. So if you hear her, I apologize. Uh, but anyway, so I am taking that resin that we just mixed up and I'm taking a new uh, silicone cup and I'm going to pour a little bit in there because we are gonna be doing the outline of the wing with these two colors. So I have this bright pink mica, and then the other one is a glow in the dark pink. I'm just putting a little of both into this cup with a little bit of resin in it, and then we're gonna mix it up, and it turned out to be the prettiest pastel color. So now we're gonna bring in the mold, and I still, I'm not over this mold. It is the cutest mold ever. Okay, so I took the resin that we mixed up that pinkish color with the glow in the dark pink as well and I'm taking this little sort of like dropper applicator thing and I'm just dripping like the littlest bit the reason I'm using this tool is because I need to fill this tiny little like crevice basically and so if I were to just pour it in with my cup it would obviously not work out so I'm taking this tiny little dropper thing and I'm just putting the resin right where I want it, right into that little like outline of the moth. So on the other side of the mold, I'm going to be pouring just clear resin into it because this is going to be like when you look into the shaker, this is going to be the side that you're looking into. So you want it to be clear so you can see inside the shaker. So for the stars and moons, I did go in with this really, really pretty blue pigment from Solar Color Dust. And then I also, I think I forgot to show you guys on camera, but I did add a glow in the dark pigment to this as well. So literally every single part of this project is going to glow in the dark 
So I'm just adding uh, a little bit of this to the moon and stars and I'm just using one of my tiny little applicators again. So now we are on to the next day and I have a brand new cup. So I'm going to be using the same resin that I used for the first part of this moth. Uh, and then, again, it's equal parts. So I'm just going to pour that into the cup and then we're going to mix it together. So these are the glitters and pigments that I'm going to be adding to this layer because the resin that we mixed up for today is only going to go into the side that we did the pink outline for. So we're going to be finishing off that side. So since Luna Moths are mostly like this light green color, that's the kind of color that I wanted to mix up. But I also added this glitter that kind of has stars in it. And then also this does have a green glow in the dark pigment as well. Okay, so now we are ready to pop these out. I'm so excited about these tiny little moons and stars oh my god i feel like this is gonna be so cute and everything freaking glows in the dark i'm so excited to pop this out so i've got my glitters picked out well i have quite a few picked out i'm not sure if i'm gonna use all of them i think we're ready to go so i'm gonna switch up the angle so you guys can see like close-ups and then i'm also gonna have sean do some even closer closer ups because i feel like that was really cool to like see it super close up and like exactly what i'm doing uh, so we're going to switch up the angle. We're going to pop these out now. I'm going to start with just the clear side. So obviously I had to do one clear side because this is going to be like, you know, how you look into the shaker. So it kind of has to be clear. Ta -da! That is satisfying. Right. And then we're going to pop out the colored side. Oh my god, look how cute that is. That is really cute. I kind of love the almost like pastel color that the pink part is. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I love it. Super cute. Yeah, it is. Right? So basically the clear side is going to like, that is the most satisfying thing I have ever seen it in like my life. It fits on it, right? Yeah, so. <laughs> oh. That Amazing. is so satisfying. You love it. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to pop out the tiny little moon and stars. Oh my god. These are like kind of too precious. Oh my god, look how tiny and cute. Can you even handle them? So they're going to go inside. I don't think I'm going to put all four, right? Well, maybe I should. <laughs> I love the blue, green, and pink, like all together. <gasps> I'm dead. That's the cutest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Because now we have to fill this with, I chose glycerin. So I put a poll on my Instagram asking if it was baby oil. A lot of people said it was. And then a lot of people messaged me and said that they use glycerin and that it's a lot better than baby oil. I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, don't come for me if it's not better than baby oil. But I chose glycerin. And so I have some in this tiny bottle. This is the glycerin that I got for this project. And then I just took some of it and put it into this little like squeezy bottle. So it has like a super nice fine tip. Here's our little Luna Moth with the moon and stars inside. I'm kind of freaking dead over it. Yeah, no, it looks really good. Right? Are we freaking excited and nervous at the same time? Yes. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter in there. I think that's the next step. So I've got these two glitters here. Look at it. Beautiful. Okay, a little bit there. Oh my God, look at that. Look at this glitter, guys. Look at this. Oh my god, look how pretty. Look how stunning. Okay, so we're gonna put a bit of this in there as well. Again, trying not to overwhelm. So 
So now we're gonna take some glycerin. So that is in this tiny bottle here. Put a bit in. How funny would it be if I should have used baby oil? How funny would it be if I should have used baby oil? Who else is nervous? Who else? Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Okay. Well, why didn't you answer? Because I was nervous about it. You're nervous about me? Nervous? Yeah. Okay. So here comes the UV resin part. We're going to have to put our masks on for a second while we paint some UV resin on these. All right. So we got this tiny little cup of UV resin. And then I'm going to use my silicone, my little silicone tiny tool to sort of like paint on. I'm just going to dip into my UV resin, get a little bit on, and then we're going to paint it onto the pink part. This one has the UV resin, so now I'm going to coat the outer rim of the clear part. And now we get really nervous and I'm gonna flip the clear over and put it onto the main part of the moth. And then I'm gonna UV resin it. Oh my goodness. Look at it so far. It's obviously not filled all the way. The tiniest drill bit. Hopefully this works. children's book by RT Mad Woman. <laughs> now I'm just gonna, from the very top, I'm gonna drill a tiny hole. I'm gonna take our glycerin with our teeny tiny applicator. I'm going to put it into that tiny hole. It's it! Yay! And now I'm going to fill it. What's interesting is nothing's moving. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. This glycerin seems really thick. Are you supposed to mix it? I don't know. I'm going to take one of these and put it into that little hole that we made. It's Ooh, good call. So here is our little moth shaker. I'm gonna use the word shaker um, very loosely because <laughs> the glycerin is so like slow. So I know some people were messaging me and saying like, like what you wanna use depends on how fast you want it to shake basically. With that said, it is still so pretty. Yeah. So, so pretty. So anyway, we're gonna finish this up. So I obviously have the shaker, and then I have metal rings, and then I have these, which are like, you know, the keychain parts. And then it also, this like whole kit came with these little like clip things as well. And all the little pieces here. Pliers, I haven't used these in literal years. So I'm gonna take my ring and loop it through there. And then I'm gonna take the bottom part of this like chain on the keychain part, and also 
loop it onto this hopefully and then I'm gonna use my pliers to press the two ends together so now we have this I could just stop here but I do like these like hook things so I think that they're easier slide this in and Ta-da! It's like the longest <laughs> keychain ever. Here it is. Woo! Cutie. It's adorable. It's adorable. Like the mold itself is adorable. I know that the glycerin looks like it's not even moving, but in person, it's really, it's just a really slow, it's a slow shaker. It's all right. You see this bubble over here? It moves. Okay. So we have our finished shaker and it's honestly, it's adorable. I, I love it. And it glows in the dark. So that reminds me, let's cut to some close-ups, some glow in the dark shots of our Luna Moth keychain uh, shaker. Some it's like keychain. Huh? Some glow-ups. Some glow-ups. Yes, dude. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. It is at Artsy Madwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ah, I feel like I look like I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> it just looks so weird. I look like a crazy person. Oh my God. I know you're probably like, I mean, you keep moving like that. It's called soul. Nope, they're not. No, I skipped an entire word. <laughs> ah! Cue the cute pie husband. Goodbye. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm smiling. Are you cute? You're cute. So I'm smiling. I'm asking if you're cute. Just a little. I like them thick.